Good morning and welcome to Chabad, to Chassidus from the bunker. I'm your host, Mashbia, today. Okay, so I'll be honest that uh, I actually spaced out to like 6.50, so hope you don't mind if I speak really, really, really slowly because I have to get to the four-minute mark so I can be longer than David Leib was yesterday. Um, so yesterday, David Leib talked about the concept of um, the concept of toyhu, that in toyu things don't give and things don't take. Why don't they give and why don't they take? Why don't they take? Um, because it, if you take, it means that you're lacking something and you need to receive from somebody else. So that's why they don't, they don't take. So the Rebbe Shab, Rebbe Rashabski asked a question today. Um, why if, okay, I understand why they don't, uh, they don't take, but why don't they give in toyu? Why don't they give in toyu? Um, it doesn't take away from you. It only uh, increases your your uh, your how how good you look. Like take a shliach for example. You know if he brings out another shliach, it only makes him look better. Um, okay. So in order to understand that the Rebbe Rashabski Skazal, that uh, let's talk about tikkun. Let's look at what happens in tikkun when somebody gives. So uh, the Rebbe Shab uses the example of a mashpia and makabel. That uh, when somebody, or a Rav and Talmud, when somebody is trying to give over something, um, like I am giving over to you right now, and this is why you probably won't even understand the word that I'm saying, is that uh, you, the, 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 the Rav has the concept in his head. So first of all, not trilasun b'soifon. He has to understand the full concept before giving it over. Why? Because if he's not, if he doesn't understand the full concept, then he's being the makabal still. And he's the Makabal, so he's not the Mashpia. Okay, so first of all, he has to understand the end uh, in the beginning. He has to understand the concept fully. Um, so he, what does he do? He takes the etzim of the idea, and then he gives it over. Um, okay, so, and it's a very hard work for the Mashpia to do that. Why? Because he has, to, he has to take the etzim, and then he has to filter it with many, many filters, many tzimtzumim, until he breaks it down into the simplest of terms, and then he gives it over to the to the makabel, and the makabel might not even get it. And the, even if the makabel does get it, he might get it in forty years from now, and that's when he hops and says, "Oh, I got it." And um, and 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 when he says, "I got it," it's then it develop, it becomes into his own mahus and its own thing, and then um, and then uh, it, it takes on a life of its own. But uh, so the Rebbe Shab says, like that was all in tikkun, right? So now the question is even bigger. Before we, I answer the question. Before I answer the question of why in Toyu we, the, uh, they're not mashpia because it doesn't take away from them, let me ask even a bigger question. If it's such hard work to be mashpia into somebody else, and um, it's so, such hard work to be mashpia into somebody else, then why do we even do it in Tikkun? Why do we do it? And for that, you'll have to tune in tomorrow in order to um, get the answer to that question. I'm almost at the four-minute mark. Not Tlilasim B'Saifon is you probably as dumb as you were in the beginning of this video, or, sorry, I should say dumb, I should say unknowledgeable in the beginning of this video as you are at the end of the video. Thank you very much. Come again.